nice and moist for me, won't you? Hey, Tids. I wonder why the hydrate command didn't go off. That's very odd. Um, thank you for the hydrate. Hey, RNG. Oh, it did. I didn't hear it. How odd. A second. <sighs> oh. Uh, thanks, OBS. Uh. OBS had turned the monitoring for the um channel that the sound commands come through off for some reason so now i'll be able to hear them again um right let's try that again hey tids hey rng how you both doing welcome on in happy friday let's turn that up a little bit as well um how's things going ah things things going good i've decided to go live a little bit early tonight because uh well, as you, you might be able to tell, um, <laughs> I was ready early. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know how long I'm going to go for tonight, so I figured I'd just, you know, stream while I can. Bad texture day. Oh no. I should show a safe dinner of mash and peas in my voice. Awesome. New PFP. Wicked. I'll have to um, take a look. Uh, Okay. Oh, I don't know why my headphones are keep like extending so that they're not sitting on my head properly. It's really weird. Uh, now I think I fixed that already, didn't I? No, I did not. Ugh. Just gonna fix that live. Hey, Nurgling, how you doing? And Rocket as well. Welcome on in, everybody. Uh. Let's fix that now. I fixed the gaming one already. <laughs> Not fixed this one yet. Because uh, I guess it's the first time since uh, the rebrand that it's been needed. Uh, but it's an easy fix. We do that. And then we close this. And then we try again. There we go. All sorted. Uh, yeah, so how are you doing, Rocket, as well? I'm glad that you're doing good, Nurgling. Good to hear. Ah, uh, music a bit loud, was it? It, was, it seemed quite quiet to me, but my headphones are um, have, have a different volume setting to um, what you guys can hear, so... Swallowing me a bit. Ah, right, okay. Oh, thank you for quieting it down a bit. Uh, okay. So I've fixed that. I think we're all good. We can actually, like, do some painting and stuff now. Uh, I'm gonna just... Because I've moved my screen a little bit so that, um... so that I could see chat better. Um, so. You know, I've turned the autofocus off and it's just like, nah, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I like. You don't own me. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, so we started on the actual detail work for the Psank Squig. Egg Squig time, yep. Yeah, uh, on Wednesday. So time to carry on i guess um get your psycho commands at the ready um oh i haven't actually really checked the psycho command uh, the psycho either shame on me so disorganized uh, there we go okay 
Now you can get your psycho commands at the ready because I will be using the psycho for a lot of this. Hello, Cypher. Welcome on in. How you doing? Happy Friday. God, it's Easter soon. Hey, Kian, how you doing? Take it by the fact that you're uh, resorting to violence already that it's been a bit of a rough one. And if that's the case, I really hope it gets better for you soon. Oh, shit. The video that um, is trying to play has been deleted. We'll skip that then. Wonder what it was. Oh no, we've got music. And hopefully you can hear it. <laughs> Um, the video in the backup playlist, um, was just not there. Oh shit, Porthos, you want food and stuff, don't you? Um, fuck's sake. Everything's just a mess today. Um, we're still getting used to the, like, new setup of me finishing work at half five. Um, and I would just ask slow to feed Porthos. Um, but he's currently doing a lot of cleaning so i am gonna pop us into brb please enjoy the music while i'm gone um i'm gonna quickly feed him so that he's not sitting here feeling sorry for himself okay does it have to be human does it have to be mine back. Sorry about that. Porthos is happily chomming away. We can uh, get some painting done. Just had a big creative spell. Awesome, Kian. Glad to hear it. Uh, let's get, seeing as it seems like we've got quite a few folks in. Oh, uh, sorry if I'm a little breathy, by the way. Um, the sudden cold snap in my local area has set my asthma off uh like cold weather's generally better for my lungs but because it's just it's gone from being really really warm to horrendously cold um literally overnight uh my lungs are not dealing well uh so if i sound a little bit uh yeah uh that's why also i've just been up and down the stairs Hello, Torpor. How you doing? Uh, Friday, 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 Friday. Big rainbow button that says Friday night on it. I think I'll be able to find that. Uh, okay. Where were we? Come on, camera. Wakey, wakey. There we go. Uh, yes. So for anyone that wasn't here for the previous stream, the egg on the right-hand side of the screen is a painting reference mostly for the pattern um about leave it in today and an hour i had all the weather oh yeah i can imagine mash eating should make gravy oh yeah but mash is always good isn't it and thank you for the welcome backs folks uh hey grox how you doing happy friday Oh, Torpor, I'm so sorry to hear that. 
I hope things pick up soon. Um. It's a trident cipher. I think it's got it's got an official name, but I can't remember what the official name is off the top of my head. But it's a it's a, a trident. I'm not too bad, thanks, Crocs. Uh, right, so we're working on the leaf today. Uh, so we need some yellow for the lovely veins. Um, I am going to be using focus. Wow, it's like talking to my brain. Demonic yellow, which is another army paint to paint been bugging me for years. Yeah, fair play. I used to know, like, not only what its proper name is, but also what it was supposed to represent, because it represents something, obviously, all things like this do. Um, but I've long since forgotten that. Especially topped with cheese and mixed with thread to thing. Um... Try to think how much butter. Never, in, uh, never too much butter in mash. Uh, or as Kean puts it, there's always room for more butter. Definitely. Come on, camera. Am I going to have to reset the autofocus to not autofocus every single time I stream now? Is is this my life? Is my life resetting the autofocus to be switched off? Um, not this one. Where is it? Configure video. Camera control. Autofocus off. There we fucking go. Nearly hit stop recording then. There we go. <clears throat> Hey, Ken, how are you doing? I seem to have chosen a main killer that a few people hate. Put it this way, Kenk. Everybody hates one killer or another. It's just the way it is. Um, don't let your enjoyment of whichever character or killer you've chosen um, be marred by salty assholes. Oh, you main pig now! Awesome! Like, the thing is, there's some really, really good pig players out there. Do you let people boop the snoot? Because in my opinion, that is the, the true mark of a good pig player, is if they will let you boop the snoot. Hello there. Hey Hans, how you doing? Oh, hello Porthos. Porthos is back. He's eaten his food and now wishes to harass me. And I picked the wrong paint because um, I wasn't thinking. Okay, fine. I'm never going to get to paint any more of this bloody leaf on stream, am I? She's going to be one disruption after another. Come on then. Wait. If you want to gaze out the window, go do it elsewhere. Come on, not on my time. He's so desperate to just stare out the window. Like, he's only got up on the chair so he can... <sighs> Look, you either sit next to me and be a good boy, or you bugger off. Oh, fucking hell, your breath stinks, matey. We need to get you into the doggy parlour. Or a tooth clean. Hit the boy! Right. Trap them first. Uh, downing and my add-ons make it awful time. Oh, you are a cruel pig player. Oh. As long as you don't camp the trap boxes. 
because I've seen a couple of pig players do that, and it's just like you're not going to get any points for yourself, let alone for anybody else, if you don't let the players do something. Because you get more points for getting more hooks and doing more damage and hitting people more and things like that. So it benefits the killer to be a little bit um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um Oh, thank you for the treat for poor Uh I cannot for the life of me think of the word I'm looking for here. Um Oh yeah, I'm using the Psycho, by the way. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome on in. I'm actually quite shaky tonight. I mean, I have had to use my inhaler today, so that won't have helped. My first three hours of Dead by Daylight was so demoralising, I haven't actually touched it since. Oh, Hans, I'm so sorry to hear that, mate. It can be like that sometimes, unfortunately. Um... We oh, that's so uh... lovely colouring. The tasteful thickness of it. Cheers, Cypher. Hey, psychologist, how you doing? Um... We've been taking a, a new player through um, some matches recently, and we were playing last night, and I said to the- we had one match where the killer just stood around shooting at the birds, and not really interacting with us, and we were just like, okay, we're just gonna do our thing and get the fuck out of here, strange man. Um, and then... We had another one where the killer was just absolutely fucking brutal, didn't give any of us a second to think about anything, killed us all within about five minutes. Probably not even that. And um, I said to the, the new member of um, the, the squad, as it were, that um, that was kind of the, the full spectrum of what to expect as a survivor in um, Dead by Daylight. You'll get some. You get some games where it's just like, why the fuck are we even here? Because the killer's either not actually playing, or is just not engaging with you at all, and just lets you get on with stuff so you don't get any points. Um, or you'll get someone that's just absolutely fucking brutal and doesn't care about having any cat and mouse or anything like that. But then you'll get some that are really helpful and they'll let you. Like, they'll go, okay, I'm going to hit this generator that you're working on. Right, now you can go back to fixing it for a bit. Now I'm going to hit it again. And, you know, there's this sort of weird reciprocal thing where you're allowing each other to rack up points. Um, and the first time that happens, it's really fucking weird. Um, but it can be a, a lot of fun, too. Uh, but it's it's such a mixed bag, so I can completely understand how you feel there, Hans. I think if I'd have been playing it solo, um, instead of playing with the people that I know and that I could be on comms with um, in my first few games, I would have probably ended up doing the same thing you've done. Uh, Cat woke me up with a claw in the eye. But so far it looks like I got lucky. Oof, guys, I am so sorry to hear that happened, and um, I'm glad you're okay. I've just powered through, and now it's got a weird matchmaking now. Yeah, apparently they're make uh, they're uh, testing the matchmaking system at the minute, so the matchmaking is super weird. Is that no? It's just debris. Fabulous. Um. 
yeah, it, it, it's very weird at the minute. Adapting a setting of mind to be about synthetic life and humans coexisting in stations orbiting totally not Earth. Awesome, Kian, that sounds really fun. Best of luck with it. Right, I'm just tidying up the spine of the leaf. That goes all the way up to the top, actually, so. Hmm. I'm very nervous about this, especially as I'm quite shaky today. You know what? The music is really, really quiet for me, so I'm just going to turn my headphones up a little bit. That's better. I can actually hear it now. You enjoy your lurk, Tids. Rest well. Um. Matchmaker put me into games with survivors that had the highest season rank as my first match of the game. Oof. Yeah, I can appreciate that, Hans. It's... I think with them testing stuff at the minute, it's a really unfortunate time to just be getting into it. Because it's messing up matchmaking for me, and I've been playing for a while. Um, and it sounds like it's really screwed you over. It's fucking awful. Hey, Nikki, how you doing? Welcome on in. Okay, so that's that bit done. And then we've got uh, probably only the four. Please don't headbutt me, Peter. Trying so hard to do this nice and neat. <clears throat> Need to rest my feet. That might actually make me uh, a little less shaky. Combined with the free weekends, probably put a lot of people off the game. It's very possible, Hans. Um, I don't think they've probably thought about it um, quite that much, unfortunately. Sorry, I'm bringing it a bit too close to the camera after I've already, you know, adjusted the... Uh, Actually, I think that's about far enough in. Okay. And we'll put the other one here. Because we've got a nice line to follow there. It's a, a little bit cheaty pants, maybe. But considering what we're doing and the source material... It seems sensible to um, follow the lines where we've got them. Because this is not a smooth surface. Um. Who 
cuddling up? Oh no, don't lick my nose, mate. Your breath smells. Shit. Yeah. I've messed that one up a little bit, but that's fine. I have instead been city building. Yeah, that's fair. I've been playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! the last few days. Uh, Cuss. The dual pass for the current season ends in two days, I think it is. And uh, I want to try and get to rank 100. That's better. I have corrected my shaky mistake. So I've been playing a lot of that uh, because I didn't play it for ages. Um, so I'm behind in the ranks. There we go. It's slowly coming together. I saw you, villain. Yeah, um, for those that didn't see uh, what I posted on Twitter about this, um, I found a, a card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Master Duel, which is a wonderful little game um, and free to play, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't pay for it. It's a it's a free Yu-Gi-Oh game, and it's actually the best uh, like virtual Yu-Gi-Oh game I've ever played. As somebody that um, used to play the TCG with friends, um, you know, before the dark times. Porthos is unimpressed by my chair boogie. <laughs> no. So stoic. Oh, there we go. He's involved now. Okay, no. <laughs> He's still unimpressed. I'll just go back to painting. Um, so yeah, uh, I found a card in Master Jewel called One Time Passcode. Thank you for the treat for Porthos hands. And I went, ha, it's an info set card. And uh was chatting with Emac about it and he basically went, you know you need to build an infosec deck now. And I was like, yeah, I do. So I did. Um and my infosec themed deck is literally the best deck I own. I have designed this thing myself, uh, play tested it, tweaked it, so it's it's gone through a couple of iterations already. Um and yeah i've played a few games with it today uh have been playing a few games with it every day for the last few days um but today as a prime example i've had five uh opponents out of the seven games i've played surrender halfway through turn one when i'm playing turn one They've seen what I've summoned out onto the field and gone, nah, fuck this, and left. <laughs> um, which I guess is a ringing endorsement of how strong the deck is. Because they don't even want to try and put up a fight from the beginning of turn one. Um, but yeah. 
working in the job that I work in, playing an infosec themed Yu-Gi-Oh deck, I have literally become one of the anime antagonists. All I need now is a suitably punny name to go with it, and I'm there, you know? I'm basically Rex or Weevil, but, you know, IT. I've just seen what you've put in the jukebox, Torpor. Good choice. Got to hear this perform uh, that performed live. Um, yeah, that me. Um, I really, really like the deck though, and it's a, a like a, a bit of a running thing that I get upset every time somebody surrenders because I just want to show them the firewall. I actually have a, a card that is a firewall in the deck and it's really difficult to summon so it takes me a few turns and I'm just like, but I want to show you the firewall and everybody leaves before I get to show it to them. Fair. Uh, th th this, is, this is my life. This is, this is who I am. <laughs> I don't know how people put up with me. Okay, now we've got to do the difficult bit. Of the leaf, at any rate. So we're going back to this light green, the name of which I have forgotten. Uh, orc skin. Oh, don't you huff at me, dog. Um, I am so fucking shaky today. This this stream is going to be half me painting things and then half me correcting the mistakes I've just painted. I think. I had a deck in Magic the Gathering which had an infinite loop of making tokens, a magic card that would double tokens uh, creatures and let you get one card out of your graveyard and a monster card that would let you get a magic card out of your graveyard and sacrifice itself. 50, one, one creature tokens, fucking hell. But the app I used overheated my tablet so I deleted it. Yeah, that's fair hands. Um, the Master Jewel is available on um, the Switch as well. And it's cross-platform, so um, when I first started playing it, I wasn't feeling very well, and I was um, basically in my blanket for on the couch all the time. So I was just playing it, um, having played it on the PC initially, I was playing it on my Switch downstairs, just like in my blanket for... And the Switch isn't a big fan of it, but we'll play it. <laughs> it's a little sluggish. Oh, what was that? Cuddles are great, but not now. Now, you folks might be seeing now why a lot of people don't like the Psycho. Because I'm having to dip back into the paint quite regularly. It dries up very fast. 
you have to load the brush just right to be able to like do large things. It's not really designed for large areas. Oh, Dead Man's Party. Good choice. Nice one, Torpor. Ah, it's that version. Fun fact about Oingo Boingo's tracks. Particularly the ones that are um, available on multiple albums, because some of them have had best ofs and things like that. It's um, they will be a slightly different version on every album that they're on. Um, and I don't mean that like they've remastered it or something like that. I mean, it's literally a different recording. Some of the lyrics might be in different places. Um, the structure might be slightly different because Danny Elfman hated repeating himself. It's part of the reason that he stopped, um, he stopped touring with the band and basically went, nah, I don't want to do this anymore because he was fed up of singing the same songs over and over again. Um, and I think I've mentioned this particular uh, point about it in the past, um, but um, he wrote all the lyrics for The Nightmare Before Christmas, and there's a, a line in one of the very early songs where Jack Skellington says, year after year it's the same routine and I grow so weary of the sound of screams. And that's actually Danny Elfman going, I am sick of this life. Um, and I, I kind of love that. Like it's, it's, a, it's a, a really neat thing. He wasn't even supposed to be the singing voice of Jack Skellington originally. And they just decided, look, Danny, you know how to sing these songs and you do them well. Just be his singing voice. <laughs> um, but yeah, this version is the... Ooh, I think it's the Boingo Alive version. Because it's not the version I normally listen to. Okie dokie, Kian. You enjoy your shower. <laughs> he felt me watching him then. He's only sat up here so he can look out the window. I think it's too short for that version. Ah! Oh god, which version is it then? There's about four different versions of Dead Man's Party. Because obviously it's one of their most popular tracks. Uh, Dead Man's Party and Weird Science, I think, are their most popular tracks. Um, they're the ones that get the most airtime. Weird Science, obviously, because it's in a movie. <laughs> made for the movie, I should say. Got a load of credits at the end of that video, so we'll just skip that. I'm just fixing some of the shake damage I've done here. There we go. Uh, they've got, yeah, I thought as much. So these are actually supposed to be like swirls. Um, so what I'll probably do Uh, 
that one actually needs to go all the way there. I've made it too thin. So we're definitely going to have to do some more catching in before we carry on. There we go. I'm actually going to adjust the focus on the camera again because I want to bring it a little bit closer while I'm doing this detail work. Um, so I want it about there. This is really difficult to um, do. Thank you, Porthos. Just headbutting me there. There we go. That should be better. now I can see what I'm doing a bit better. I mean, I'm resting my uh, wrist on the edge of the desk, which is actually quite uncomfortable, but there's no really nowhere else I can rest it to do this. So... That should have given my corrective green some time to dry. There we go. It's not perfect. But it doesn't have to be. Brazenly uh, stealing a quote here. But uh, no paint job is perfect. It becomes perfect when you accept it for what it is. try and make the curl a little thinner. There we go. Really being very stubborn. Bye, Porthos. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like, no, I'm going to sit down again now you've said goodbye. Go on then. Honestly. Like every time he decides to do that just after I've loaded my brush up, I have to load my brush up again. Orthos is wasting my paint for me. Like I need to help. <clears throat> Uh, 
Uh, no, it is not, Hans. It is three minutes, 28 seconds long. Unless that's one that's just started, I don't know. Uh, so that bit up. One for Chaos Knights in a charity stream. You did not, Kent. Congratulations. Uh, painted or unpainted? I sent us to the queue a bit and the Lupin one looked like a long loop. Ah, I see. Painted in scheme of my choosing. I'll have eight nights when they arrive from the US. Awesome! Congratulations. I was about to say this is surprisingly difficult and then I realised surprisingly is probably not the right word to use here. In fact, I think the right word to use here is obviously. <laughs> the exact opposite of being surprising. To no one's surprise, painting these tiny little curls inside this tiny little leaf it's quite difficult. <laughs> mm. I have brought this upon myself. But you know what? I can do it. I can do it. There are lots of folks out there, some of them maybe even in chat, who believe I can do this. And if they can believe in me, I can believe in them. Even if it's only for a little bit. Thank you, Cypher. I'll have to take a family photo when they arrive. Definitely, Kenk. Love to see that. Oh, you bugger. Ruby and Raiders. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in. Happy Friday. Um, hello there. I don't think I've got any mods about again. So give me a second. Trash Panda! Hello there, still on the sprue, how you doing? Uh, okay, so let's see if I can do this without cocking it up tonight, because... Uh... No, I, I was uh, very, very focused on what I was painting when um, the notification went pop. Um, right, let's, let's... And you did. 
So thank you for, for warning me. There we go. Um, for those that don't follow Roll On To Explode, Ruby, um, absolutely wonderful painter, lovely, wholesome chat. Oh my God, it's Iron Dave. Hello, Iron Dave. You've changed your name again. <laughs> um... Yeah, um, I've been lurking in Ruby's stream for most of the day while I've been working, and it's been a lovely environment. Great chat. Becca's wonderful too. Um, <clears throat> believe Becca is uh, Bradlads on uh, Twitter and Twitch, and is also well worth a follow. Another very, very talented bean. Um, yeah. Okay. I hope the rest of your stream went well, Rubes. Our very own magnificent what the fuck. Yes. Beautiful. Been surprisingly focused. <laughs> Okay. This isn't going to be as pretty as the Pasanka is. But that's okay. For one thing, I'm not doing it in the same way. Like, that's a, an ink dyed and wax stained um, egg. And let's face it, wax. Behaves very differently to paint. How has yours been? Oh, it's not been too bad. Um, Porthos has been super disruptive, but I think chat forgives him. Um, getting lots of little detail bits done here. And we've got some really good tunes in the jukebox. So, you know, can't complain. I mean, I could, but there's nothing to complain about. Great beans, great music. Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. That's not too bad. Uh... Hmm. Ah, I've just noticed at the end of each of the, for want of a better description, yellow spokes, there is a, a dot of yellow as well. Let's get those in there. Go. Oh. I feel like the leaf's missing something and I'm not sure what it is because I can't see the bottom of it. I think it's got another set of swirls here. Mm. 
and not enough paint. Possibly too much, we'll see. Yeah, too much. See, this green's quite watery in comparison to some of the other paints as well, which doesn't help. So we're going to go back in with the darker green and make some corrections in a minute. That's fine. A lot of corrections. Not perfect, but it gets the idea across. Hey, Update Mac, how you doing, mate? Did I update that one? I did! Ha ha! Uh, Textwig doesn't seem to like your taste in music tonight, mate. It's afraid. Oh no. What are you trying to add? Oh. Yeah, fair. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know what to tackle next. Like, this, this, this could be quite the thing. Um, I think we need to establish where the sunflower is going to start and finish. Oh, awesome, Ruby. Is it going okay? Need to fix my shout out. I thought I did, but it. It balked it. Oh no! I had a similar problem with my shout out when I switched to stream elements. <laughs> it just did not want to do shout outs for some reason. Um, I'm just gonna do a thing that I now know how to do. Um, because I have this really bad habit of. There we go. I, I try to read the usernames that are on screen. So I'm using the nickname feature to make my brain go, no, that's not the name that you read here. <laughs> Ghost host, check out the ways to check. Oh, best of luck, Ruby. Best of luck. Um, okay. Okay. So I'm thinking sunflower here which means it'll be covered up a little bit like by this harness, which is fine. It's fine. Um, we need a bigger brush, though. What I'll do is, because it looks like the sunflower is based with a, a like a dark red, and then you've got um, two different shades of yellow or like an orange over the top. Uh, so I need to mix up a nice dark red. It also doesn't look like it's a perfect circle. It looks like it's like a scalloped edge. So that could be interesting. So let's mix up a dark red. I don't have a lot of reds, which is weird, really. I've got fuck tons of blues, but not a lot of reds. Um, so this is going to be an interesting experiment to try and get the kind of red I want. 
tiny fair bit, I think. So we'll Um, I think maybe if I mix a bit of Doom Ball Brown in with it, that might work. I'm a sucker for blues. Yeah, me too. But, but Orcs. <laughs> um, funny thing is I don't actually collect Orcs. I only collect Squigs. Um, in terms of, like, actual armies. My shiny plasma. Yeah. Mm. Definitely Ruby. 100% with you there. Um, yeah, in terms of like armies that I could actually play with, I've got Night Lords, I've got some Eldar, I've got um, uh, some Sylvaneth for fantasy. Or AOS, I should say. Um, but yeah, I I don't collect orcs. Orcs are a side effect of um my squig habit, basically. See if it's not Lord's too Yes. Hang on a minute. Where where's my floaty capey dude? Oh, he's not here. Bugger. Okay. I wonder where I put him. Um I've got uh like a Chaos Sorcerer for my Night Lord's army that I've painted and he's all sparkly and blue. But I know it's for AOS. Good choice. Uh, I have Sylvaneth, I said, to the surprise of absolutely no one. Fuck off, mate. Cheeky shit. There is a reason why I have Sylvaneth. And it's not because plants, before you say it. Yeah, that's kind of worked. Yeah, that'll do. It's going to be really interesting. So I'm using the detail brush just to make the basis of my circle. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than it needs to be so that I can put the scalloped edge on afterwards. Um, but this is just me basically getting that base colour in. I've just said base way too many times. Um, in case anyone's wondering, the reason that I have Sylvaneth for AOS now is because I played a Sylvaneth character in the AOS RP, Soulbound, and I really, really enjoyed playing as him. He was a lot of fun. Um, I liked uh the fact that uh i could choose how i was going to role play this character uh sylvaneth um sylvaneth are a bit like cats um they don't need to change their facial expressions um all of their emoting is done basically psychically between one another they only actually use their faces to express things when they're like talking with humans or non sylvaneth um just generally non sylvaneth um and my sylvaneth character Aethlander did not do that so he was just constantly deadpan face and he spoke in a very deadpan monotone kind of way as well um he spoke kind of like treebeard um so you could never really tell if he was being sarcastic or not. And uh, I used that to affect uh, a lot of the time. Um, but I had a lot of fun playing as him um, and like interacting with the other players and with the NPCs that we came into contact with. And just like I did for... Hang on. This is how all of my fucking armies start. <sighs> Just like I did for the Black Crusade character I played, I decided I was going to make a miniature of him. This is Volpir. He was my first Night Lord. Hey, Pramby. He is the physical representation of the Night Lord Raptor that I played in Black Crusade. 
Um, and he is the reason that I have a Night Lord's army. Because uh, I enjoyed playing as him so much that I decided I was going to play Night Lords. Um, and Aethlandir has worked out exactly the same. I really enjoyed playing as him. So I ended up um, deciding I wanted a Sylvan F army. Hello, Prime B. Welcome on in. I can't remember if I said hello to you. I hope you're doing well today. Um, I was rambling about my miniatures. As you do. But yeah, I've got a box of Colonel Hunters now, so I am actually going to build and paint a Thunder at some point. I am lucky. I am glad to hear that, Prime B. I genuinely love Legion's um, theme tune. This is Legion um, from Dead by Daylight's theme tune, for want of a better description. Um, all the killers have their own version of the Dead by Daylight theme tune, and Legion's is just so fucking awesome. And soon, if I'm not mistaken, B will probably correct me if I'm wrong here, uh, but soon um, Legion players will be able to modify their theme tune using add-ons. Which is just so fucking good. Last Friday in the office, because next week I have it off, and the week after is my last week. Oh shit! That's awesome, I think, Prime B. You knew better job? Mm. No, that's too small. We'll go to here. So I'm trying to work on one direction at a time so that I can go, yeah, this looks this looks the right size, and then I can make it more circular from there. Because it's really difficult to paint a circle on a surface like this. Yeah, that looks better. That's fine, Hans. If it's a bit quiet, we'll, uh, we'll turn the volume up. I'll just have to remember to turn it back down again when I'm done. It's good. New, much better paying, fully remote job. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, that's sort of circular. The mummy from this movie can kill me and I would die happy. Just like, oh, you, you, you like the, uh, the plague, do you? Very nicely designed character. Picking up the Zaku tomorrow. Wicked rocket. Very exciting. Love a good Zaku. Uh, which Zaku in particular is it? Is it just a standard Zaku? Zaku 2? Is it Shah Zaku 2? I think they had some custom ones in uh, Build Fighters as well. A custom one. Green Zaku too. Nice. I mean, you know, I, I will always uh, rep for the Red Comet whenever I get the opportunity. Because I like my fancy lad. Um, But yeah, the standard Zaku too, also perfectly good. Perfectly reasonable. Oops. Also bringing groceries to the grandparents in the same trip. Oh, bless you, Rocket. You're a good bean.
Okay, I think... I think that's all right as circles on non-flat surfaces go. We're just catching any gaps we've got. Very well, I'm still terrified when I play as Survivor I get so anxious. Oh, bless you, Kank. Um, I don't get anxious when I'm playing a survivor unless things are going horribly. But I'm a little bit weird. Like, I actually quite enjoy it when the killer chases me. <laughs> I like the thrill of it. Especially if I can do some good loops. Which doesn't happen very often. I'm not a particularly competent player. It doesn't look quite rounded enough over here, so I'm just gonna add a little more in. Bless you, Porthos! I'm saying nothing. Oh, I'm sure it's fine, Rubes. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that looks fairly circular. That, that'll do. That'll do. Okay, so I'm going to switch from the detail brush to the insane detail brush. This is not the psycho before anybody gets trigger happy. Um, let's put the scout's edges in. I'm going to make sure that the focus is correct. This is difficult. This isn't the psycho, this one is called the mental. <laughs> I do love that they just shortened the name to the psycho and went, yeah, just call it that. Everyone else does. Because it used to be called the psycho insane detail. And I actually had one way back with, uh, like my my first my first psycho was actually said psycho insane detail on it. Oh, sweetheart, that's quite uncomfortable. Unless you actually want something from me, other than to let you stare out of the window and scream, uh, I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. I'm not gonna let you stare out of the window and scream. So we've got a little bit of a bump there. And I am going to just use that as one of my edges, I think. Just make it a little bit more rounded. Oh, is the wind scaring you? Is that what's up? Oh, yes, I see what you mean now, Hans. Um, let's... I'm just going to skip it forward a little bit. There we go. It's not that the track is quiet, it's just that the opening is really quiet. Come on, man. Up, up. Come up. Oh, my chair is in absolute state. Come on. Up, up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> you don't need to apologise, Hans. It's fine. Audio balance be weird. So if I hadn't moved when I moved, then he would have vaulted straight into my face. Uh, which would have been exceedingly painful for me and very, very funny for you folks watching.
Now I'm not doing this anywhere near as detailed as the original, but I think considering the surface I'm working with, that's only fair. Porthos is part siege ram, got it, yeah. He really is. He's just a siege ram in a dog costume. Here's a thought for you all. Some of the squigs that I've painted have been very elaborate. Good old surface to air popper. Yeah, he is. He's a right land shark. Like, if you pat the couch next to you and he's on the opposite side of the living room, he will jump across everything completely silently. It's proper fucking six million dollar man shit. And he will land effort effortlessly next to you. Or on your lap. Um... There's a reason we call him Podshot Porthos, put it that way. I spent all that time making this circle look as tidy as I could, and now I'm making it look a mess again. Artists struggle. Yeah, um, so here's a thought for you, and I want, I want your genuine opinions on how you think this, uh, this lands, which side it lands on. But some of these squigs are quite elaborate. Like, this little friend here. as an example and seen as they're out here on the desk the little ukraine squig like are these squigs naturally occurring or have a bunch of grots painstakingly decorated these squigs <laughs> I mean, this one in particular, this is, if this was a, a naturally occurring set of markings, holy heck, that's uh, some of the best uh, fucking Darwin's grab bag ever. Where you are painting this squid just reminded me of animal protection agents painting horns and hides of animals to ruin their sales value for poachers. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe um, maybe Old Zogwart's Squig Sanctuary has um, very painstakingly decorated every squig that they've adopted to protect them from poachers. I quite like that idea, actually. I've painted a singular squig to date. Haven't finished that model either. It's just been sat 90% since October. Oh, wow. Um, I've painted a lot of squigs. In fact, recently I've painted nothing but squigs. Um, but I've got a lot that need basing or that need extra like customization work that I've just not gotten around to for one reason or another. My head's got to be in the right place to do that kind of stuff, and it just hasn't been. But you never know. Maybe that'll change. It's random skins like creatures in Ark Survival, or these grots should be painted like elves, then you have a December recurring theme. <laughs> um, yeah, let me... Because um, I know you've not seen quite a few of the squigs, Ruby, and I know uh, other folks will have seen them all, but seen as they're here, and I need a little bit of a break from doing something quite so detailed. 
so that I can stretch and stuff. Uh, let's start with one of our unfinished friends here. This is Hans the Squiggan. I'm actually really, really proud of this guy. Um, like I was worried that the wings would be too big, but I think they're the perfect level of oversized. Oh, thank you very much, Ruby. Uh, it's all come off because uh, I've not actually painted them in a couple of weeks and I've been chewing my nails again. Um, hey, Sheridan, how you doing? Welcome on in. Oh, punching me light. You've just seen the um, penitent squig. I'm quite proud of this one as well. Um, because figuring out how to do the penitent one as a squig was interesting. And I think I've done a reasonable job. Um, this is Globe Nomma, um, who uh, is going down quite well on Instagram. Um, there's this little friend whose name I've forgotten and my uh, orc glyphing skills are not good enough yet that I can read my own writing um. hey Nikki and hello Sol didn't see you sneak in either hello there um That's mini doom roller. Ah, yes. So there's a story behind this squig. Um, one of my viewers very kindly sent me a bunch of 3D printed squigs. And this was in the middle of the heat wave last year. And this poor little fella hadn't quite cured properly. And he's hollow. So uh, when um, I put him in the cabinet ready to paint later, he sort of exploded. Um, and his legs fell off and you might be able to see because I decided not to hide it he's got quite a lot of scarring where I've had to green stuff him and uh, basically stick him back together because he collapsed into little pieces uh, but his legs were completely unsalvageable and I decided that here at Old Zogwart Squig Sanctuary we should strive to give every squig the best quality of life possible um, so I fished out the um, Warhammer epic stuff that I have on my shelf and got one of the little orc trucks out and made him a uh, mobility truck pushing goblin stuff in his face fair enough Nikki it was very much an accidental bomb squig yeah but I, I really like the way he turned out and I put some water effect on his eyes so it looks like he's either going really, really fast or he's crying with joy because he can go really, really fast again. Um, or both. Both is good. Um, so that cotton you've used to smoke. It is indeed. It's um, some of the cotton padding that you get in, um, like, the, you know, the, the little flat pads for removing nail polish because I happen to have some knocking about. Uh, there's... Envy Pride Squig. I've got to get used to the camera being higher up. Welcome back, Ian. Um, this one isn't finished yet, but we've also got a Porthos Squig that's about half done. Just need to figure out what to do with his mohawk. Um, hey, Soup. Happy Friday. Welcome on in. How you doing? And a Tabby Slime Squig. So these are all requests that people have put in, except for the Porthos one. I I, I just chose to do that, and um, our little uh, trucking friend, um, because he was a repair job. But yeah, um, oh, and uh, I completely skipped over the shark to con squig. Um, but yeah, I I have a a collection of weird squigs, and them all to be naturally occurring would be amazing. Um, but I do kind of love the idea that they've been painted specifically um, by the uh, grots at the Squig Sanctuary so that they don't get poached. 
I think that's a fab a fab idea, and I, I think I'm gonna stick with that as the law for the sanctuary. Jumped the shocked con squig, so to say. Indeed, Torpor. You know what you get for that? It was great, it was terrible. Well done. Okay, so we've got our <laughs> Hey Rathmore, how you doing? Welcome on in. Um, is that big enough? No, it's not, because it's not as it's not as big as the leaf. Ah, curses! I've done all that work, and I didn't think to look back at the reference and make sure that the sizing was right. So, back to the drawing board or the painting board? I don't know. Uh, we need it to about here actually. I mean, that will make things a little easier, I guess, but... Eesh. About here. I'm just going to keep telling myself that all the prep work I'm doing, when I finally get round to painting things like the sunflower itself, is going to be completely worth it. Even if it doesn't look perfect, it's going to be worth it. Because this is one heck of a challenge, and the fact that I'll have completed it is something to be proud of. Feels slightly bad for adding this squig to the list, but also looking great so far. I'm so glad you think so, Nikki. And don't feel bad. Do not feel bad. At the end of the day, if somebody adds something to the list that I don't feel comfortable doing, I can say no. And I can refund you your points, I think. So don't feel bad. The egg is your reference. Yes, it is, Rathmore. Um, this was an old Zogwarts curse request for a uh, Pisanka, a Ukrainian Easter egg, um, which I gladly accepted um, because in spite of my heritage, I have never had the opportunity to um, actually make a Pisanka. Um, this is my opportunity to sort of do that whilst also doing something for my actual hobby. So Mongolian throat singing gives me craving for white scar. Oh, white scar or white scars? Because white scar is what they call the paint now, isn't it? <laughs> Sitting there drinking white paint. I mean, we've all done it, let's face it. But yeah, I can completely understand that, Kenk. I may have made this slightly too big now. Shit. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, tight squeeze. Yeah, that'll do. Trying really hard not to get any on the metal bit where where it's going to be metal. Speed paints don't actually taste bad, really, Ruby. That is surprising. Okay, and then. Contrasts are hella bitter. I've not actually used any contrast paints. Okay, I think we need a tiny little bit here. Yeah. 
slightly longer. Now, I would normally have finished by now um, on a Friday, but Longfang isn't streaming, so I might go for a little bit longer. Like, I think we'll get, yeah, let's get a little bit of the dot work done. And then I'll start on the sunflower itself and the tail piece next week. I don't want to rush through this because it's such a complicated design. Um, so I want to try and give myself time to think about what I'm doing. I'm not, I know I'm not exactly the fastest painter as it is, but, you know, it's... This is a big task. And... A few folks that I've spoken to who have been doing this a lot longer than I have and with much greater success have already gone, I can't believe you're doing this. So I think if I take my time with it, this can be a really good opportunity for me to learn some new techniques and hopefully make something really beautiful. And noon UK time. Really, Hans? Well, in that case, you know what we need to do? speed comes later yeah exactly ruby i mean it won't for me i'd much prefer to go slow and steady for the rest of my life when it comes to this kind of thing uh we need i spelled that right yes i have there we go if you're not following hands absolutely fabulous speedrunner does uh, mario kart 8 deluxe um is on the speedrun leaderboards, if I'm not mistaken. And general all-round good bean as well. So well worth a follow, well worth a watch. Yeah. Right. Oh! You're a you're a desert bus watcher, are you, Nikki? Awesome. Uh, no, Sol, because I value my privacy. Since the first one. Nice. I missed quite a few of them because of work and just life in general and finally managed to get back into it last year. And I was so thankful for it. Like, it was just so nice. And because it had been so long since I'd seen one, like, watching how that had evolved since I'd last watched one because I watched the the last one I'd watched was prior to them moving on to Twitch for everything. So, you know, they'd done it all through the website. It was amazing to see the difference and they did a uh, did like a special bit where they had all of the the backstage guys explaining how the overlays and stuff work and I was just sitting there taking notes like, "Wow, this is amazing." Um, I wish I could do shit like that. So cool. Alas, that's not the kind of tech person I am. I wouldn't know where to start. I could probably figure it out. But, uh, yeah. I'm trying to decide which brush to use for the dot work. Um, also, which paint? Those spots are actually white. So, I guess we'll use a spot of white scar. Oh, I can imagine Nikki. Oh no, that's not good. Look at that. That is, in spite of me mixing it by shaking it, the flow aid that's in the bottle has separated from the paint. So, more violence required. And you get a bit of paint shaking ASMR.
Thank you, Kian. Uh, and I'm gonna. I wish I knew where all of my pins have gone. Because they've done a bonk. Uh, I'm used to needling my ankles. Thanks. There we go. Oh! Oh dear. It got a bit overexcited then. Now we've got lots of white paint. Oopsie. Uh, we'll go with the insane detail, I think. Okay. Yeah, I have cocked up my spacing a bit, but it's okay. Again, this is never going to be a perfect match to what's in the photo, because the surface is so different, but that's okay. I'm also only going to do the one sunflower because you can see there's multiple sunflowers on this center. Can I take some of that off? Nope. Fashion away. It's going to go. <laughs> Fixed it. Shh. Cocking up is part of life. It is indeed, Pudlord, and I don't know if I've. Uh... I've stopped writing and drawing to be here. Oh, bless you, Pud Lord. Well, thank you very much. But please, if you want to get your creative stuff done, don't stop on my account. I mean, if you're taking a break and you're joining the stream while you're having a little rest from being creative, then by all means. Or heck, create whilst you're here. I'm perfectly happy with that. This is hobby happy hour. It's for us to enjoy our hobbies. Whatever they might be. Is it weird that I quite like the dot work? Like, not in a I think this looks really good kind of way, but I, I just think it's a a fun thing to have on there. And I think it looks quite nice on this squig in particular. So that's going to be partially covered, which is exactly what I want. I want to draw, but not sure what. Ooh, that is awkward cipher. 
I've been in that situation before. You could do some um, Zen doodles to just get your creative juices flowing, and then see how you feel from there. You know what I think I might do is run the dot work along the bottom of its lip. I think that'll look cool. And then what I think I'll do with the chin is um, have like a repeat of what's going to be on the tail, just like going down uh, the torso and wrapping round. I think that'll look cool. I'm just finding any way I can to not have to paint two sunflowers. Hi fellas and fellas, got to go put the youngest to bed. Okie dokie, Cypher, you take care. It's been lovely to have you here. Hope you have a great weekend. Creating a good clip. Altern alternating between my superhero comic project and my space opera. Awesome, Podlord. For some of the alien nations I've drummed up on stream. I have, yes. They were really cool. Gone and drawn some characters. Not just family members of their people. Ah, yes, you put those in the Discord, didn't you? I have been looking. I've not been responding to a lot of stuff. Um, I'm really bad at responding to things on Discord. Um, just sort of generally. But I have been keeping an eye on what's been going on in the server. And like, for all you folks that are putting your creative stuff on the Discord, Either like writing stories or poems or things like that, drawing pictures or your miniatures in the hobby shack. It's so wonderful to see. Like, I love seeing all the work that you folks do. It's so great. And there's such a diverse collection of things going on as well. And it makes me so, so happy to see you all doing these things that make you happy. And sharing them with us all so that we can all bask in your joy. So thank you. I'm kind of sad now because the dot work is my favourite thing that I've done on here so far. I may do a squig at some point that is just all dot work. I'll make a, a, a dot matrix squig, I guess. Okay, we're getting to a point now where if I want this to be consistent, be very careful about what I do. Mm. Agent Squiff. <laughs> nice one, Kian. Uh, 
Okay, so uh, around about the gum level, let's go more flat. So Okie dokie, Ruby. Thank you so much for popping in and thank you for the raid as well. I hope you have a great weekend and enjoy your food. Take care. Um, yeah, so we just go up and round. Um, and obviously the leg is in the way, so... I'm tempting fate with the amount of paint on my brush right now, like that. So now, we go this way. Can you imagine the amount of grots it would have taken to paint this squid? Like one of them clearly got the idea into their head that they wanted to paint this this particular squig very fancy. And I can just sort of imagine the rest of them like looking at each other like fuck is wrong with this one? How many of them would have had to hold the poor thing down, you know? Or, like, how many treats would they have gone through to get it to stay still long enough to do this? Sunflower? What even is one of those? But grots are treats. Yeah, that's half of the fun, isn't it? So this is one of the, um, Jolene is actually an eldritch entity, uh, versions of Jolene, which I am a-okay with. Okay. One lot of dot work done. Only an entire egg's worth left to do. <laughs> oh, I am insane. Ah well, it'll look cool when it's done. Nothing wrong with taking pride in your squig. Indeed, Pudlord. Indeed. I think what I might do as well, because I'm not quite happy with um, the empty space on the leaf here, I might do some extra detail work that isn't part of the original design just to make me feel better about it. <laughs> so this the, the egg is probably going to end up less as a reference and more of a, a guideline. <sighs> Sounds about right for me, doesn't it? But yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there for the night. Um, for a few reasons. Um... Ooh, you, you got an extra like half an hour out of me. So it's not so bad. Uh, 
Goodbye. The fun thing about the Star Trek autobiographies is they take retcons in stride and incorporate in a fun way. Awesome! If anyone wants, if anyone gets a chance, you should see the Stuart Binns uh, new double feature show, Tornado Snowflake. It, I went to see him last night in Leeds and was in pain from laughing. Goodbye. Wow, that is a that is a ring endorsement suit. I have to take a look. Um, right. Let's uh, go to the ending screen. And thank you, everybody. I, I know you always thank, thank me for the stream, and I really do appreciate it. But uh, thank you for being here. If it weren't for you lot showing up all the time, I wouldn't be streaming. Uh, let's see who we've got that's live that we can raid. Oh. I know exactly who we're going to raid. If we can, that is. Let's find out. We're going to raid Sam Random. Sam is an absolutely wonderful little streamer. Real sweetheart. Best little kobold in the land. Um, if you're not already following her, please do. Um, but yeah. I will be back tomorrow with some more Ghostwire. If it works and if not i'll play some more hollow knight we'll just see i really want to play some more ghostwire for you all because i know you're enjoying it um in spite of the glitches um yeah so i'll be back for that hopefully i'll see you all then that's 10 p.m uk time um and i'll be back on sunday with some more um of uh, broken age as well yeah Thank you so much for coming along tonight, folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching me flail about with uh, our little squig friend here. Um, and hopefully I'll see you for some of the streams this weekend. And as always, until I do see you next, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your fucking hands. And have a great weekend, however you choose to spend it. Now go say hi to Sam for me. Bye, everybody. <laughs>